This video will demonstrate how to create alarm history in Factory Talk Optics. The video was created using the same demo project that was featured in Factory Talk Optics Getting Started Alarms video. We recommend watching this video first. To display the alarm history, you will configure an object called Event Logger. The Event Logger can be created in two ways using a pre configured object from the template libraries, or by creating and configuring the event logger object manually. You will first add a pre-configured alarms event logger. Open the template libraries by clicking on the menu icon and search for the object by typing logger in the search field. Drag and drop alarms event logger object to the loggers folder. The other way to create an event logger object is from within the loggers folder context menu. Right click on the loggers folder, click on new and select event logger. In the properties panel on the right, you need to specify the event type so that the event logger is configured to log alarm events. Click on the plus sign next to the event configurations collection to add a new event configuration. Next to the event type, click on the dynamic link icon. Expand the Types folder and then the Event Types folder so that you can access the Base Event Type collection. Expand this collection, then the Condition Type, and finally expand the Acknowledgeable Condition Type. The alarms and events in Factory Talk Optics are fully compliant with the OPC UA specification, which is the reason why the Event Types tree is structured this way. Select the Alarm Condition Type. Next, you need to select the event variables that you want to record. Click on the Event Logger Editor icon to display the variables associated with the configured event. None of the variables are currently selected. For comparison purposes, open the editor for the pre-configured alarms event logger. As you can see, the pre-configured logger has several variables already selected. You could choose different variables and customize either of the two loggers that you created but for the purpose of this demo, we will continue with the predefined logger without changing it. The next step is to associate our event logger with a database. There are no databases in the project, so we need to create one. Right click on the data stores folder, expand new and select embedded database. Rename the database to specify its purpose more closely. You can now associate the alarms event logger with the database that we just created. Highlight the alarms event logger to open its properties and then simply drag and drop the database to the dynamic link field next to the database property. Now that the alarms event logger is configured, you can create a brand new display. Expand the UI folder and then the screens folder which already contains the alarm screen you will create the Alarm History screen. Right-click on the Screens folder, Expand New, Expand Containers, and select the Panel object. Rename the object to Alarm History, and select it to open its properties. Change the default size to better accommodate the content of the screen. You will again use the templates library to insert the alarm history object called alarm history grid. The object is under the widgets library. Drag and drop the grid object onto the panel. You can easily position the object within the panel or by manually specifying its size properties. Since the alarm history grid shows data from the alarms event logger, we need to associate the grid with the logger that we configured earlier. Simply drag and drop the logger object to the dynamic link field next to the alarm events logger property. 
The new alarm history screen is complete. To make sure that the screen is accessible from our main window, we need to drag and drop it to a pre-configured navigation panel. As mentioned in the beginning, this video is a continuation of the factory talk optics alarm video and contains two pre-configured alarm tags and the alarm screen that you will use next when you test the project. Run the project by clicking the emulator play button. The alarm screen opens. Turn on the switch to generate a digital alarm. To generate a level type alarm, move the slider to the left. This will trigger a pre-configured low level alarm. Move the slider farther to the left to generate a low, low level alarm. Similarly, move the slider to the right to generate high and high, high alarms. Now that you generated several alarms, open the alarm history screen that you created to observe these alarms historically. As demonstrated in this video, Alarm history in factory talk optics can be created in just a few easy steps. Thank you for watching.